Hey, English learners, welcome back to 3 English, where we delve into idioms, slang, and phrasal verbs. Today, we're exploring some fascinating idioms about work and effort. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Our first idiom is burn the midnight oil. To burn the midnight oil means to work late into the night or put in additional hours of work beyond normal working hours. This phrase originates from the era before electricity when people had to use oil lamps to work or study late into the night. Burning the oil in the lamp symbolizes working late. Back burning the midnight oil, I see. Burning the midnight oil, Mr. Smith? And the midnight oil? Yeah. Okay. Tonight, the president and his top advisors will be burning the midnight oil. Next up is pull an all-nighter. This one means to stay up all night working on something. It is almost similar to burn the midnight oil, but pulling an all-nighter is commonly used when there's a tight deadline or urgent task that requires continuous effort without a break for sleep. He was pulling an all-nighter at his lap. I'm going to pull an all-nighter. Pull another all-nighter? Moving on to go the extra mile or putting in the extra mile. It simply means to make a special effort to achieve something beyond what is required to achieve success or excellence in the workplace. This phrase comes from the idea of going beyond the standard or expected distance, as in running a race. I go the extra mile. For going the extra mile, I mean... Are you, Jack? Are you willing to go the extra mile? At least now I can, I'll go the extra mile. Our fourth idiom is work like a dog. To work very hard, often with little recognition or reward. Dogs are known for their loyalty and hard work, often performing tasks tirelessly. Thus, this idiom highlights the concept of working with dedication and perseverance, even in challenging or unfavorable conditions. And I work like a dog, day and night. Li well, I've been working like a dog to get you that contract and get- Go home, get a good night's sleep, wake up in the morning and work like a dog. I, I work, I work like a dog and I, where's the money? I, I mean, I don't know it. Work like a dog and advertise. Now let's talk about stepping up to the plate. It means to take responsibility or accept a challenge. The origin of stepping up to the plate comes from baseball. In baseball, the plate refers to home plate, which is where the batter stands to hit the ball. When a batter steps up to the plate, it means they are ready to take their turn at bat and face the pitcher's throws. It's a moment of readiness and responsibility in the game where the batter has to focus and perform. So, in everyday language, stepping up to the plate means taking responsibility or accepting a challenge, just like a baseball player stepping up to bat in a game. This is a flight for Durham, our own Crash Dyson. I just want to make sure that he is stepping up to the plate and taking care of you. Who's stepping up to the plate tonight? Your mother always gave me crap for never stepping up to the plate. Our sixth idiom is being on top of your game. Being on top of your game means to perform at one's best or being highly skilled or proficient. It indicates being highly competent and effective in one's work, often associated with peak performance or excellence. This phrase likely originated from sports where athletes strive to perform at their highest level. Look. I know I haven't been on top of my game lately. I, 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 Kid is really on top of his game, and you just have to love his winning attitude. We're gonna have to be on top of our game. That's I felt like it was on top of my game. <laughs> and then in the 90s... Next up, putting your best foot forward. It means making a good impression, giving one's best effort, or presenting one's work in the best possible way. The expression suggests the idea of presenting oneself in the best possible light, perhaps in a formal or social context. If this program is to be a success, we must all put our best foot forward. In order to place you, I'm going to need you to put your best foot forward, Regina. We must all put our best foot forward. And now, hit the ground running. This means to start something with great energy and enthusiasm, immediately and with full force. Especially starting a new job, project, or task, without any delay or hesitation. This phrase originated from military terminology describing soldiers who jump out of aircraft and immediately begin operations upon landing. Well, I thought the plan was to hit the ground running. How are you going? So I hit the ground running tomorrow. 
could hit the ground running. The record label really hit the ground running too. I'm up. Lastly, we have cut corners. To do something in a quicker or cheaper way, often sacrificing quality. This phrase comes from the idea of taking shortcuts in a race by cutting across corners instead of following the full course. Marion started cutting corners behind my back. But I told her I thought the hotel had been cutting corners on food last year. I so, yeah, I'm sure you can understand our need to cut corners around here. To sum up, today we've explored some interesting idioms about work and effort. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, take care.